Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video. Uh, it's more of a news update. So during stream today, Coffee Stains uploaded a new video for us, which actually shows off some of the parts that are coming in update four. And I think they're also hinting at a few other things, but we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to break it down and see if there's anything that we didn't actually see the first time around. Anyway, let's jump into it. We didn't leak anything, all right? We didn't, we didn't leak it, all right? People out there are saying that we leaked something. We didn't leak the thing. There was a, there's items, different items in the advent calendar, okay? And one of them, many of them are cool. We didn't leak it, we put it there on purpose, all right? Jesus. Okay, so welcome to this little factory. This is- Right, so first off, before we get into it, immediately one thing has um, piqued my interest, which is this over here. I don't know if you noticed, but this, um, staircase is not currently in game. This is the test world they've said and this particular staircase you can get access to it using the pack utility. I've seen it before but this suggests that this might be coming to update 4 as you'll hear Jace talk about in a moment. And there we go so we're going to be the opposite side to him but something that I'm I just noticed. The level, so the lighting's a little bit different a little bit here if we look inside, th he just said that this is their, their factory that they move the stuff over to once once they're about ready, just to test everything, and then after that it goes over to us. But if we look outside, I don't know what these are. These look like just placeholders, like terrain. But these look like pieces of foundation. And these, this one looks like the single 1x8 one. Then we also have a slightly like the, the double ramp version. And then we have one, two, three, wait, no, one, two, three, four different ones. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if one of these is just the one by eight slight uh, ramps, but these ones are much lower. So I wonder, and also this one as well, potentially, though we can't really see this one, whether these are new foundations that they're, they're playing about with in game and then we'll add a texture to afterwards. But anyway, let's get back into it. You know, a little bit whatever out there, but it's uh, it's something, okay? So first of all, we're gonna take the factory cart to the first room, whoop, there. Okay, so we're gonna take the factory cart to our first location. We're here. And then also the uh, sulfuric acid. Um, but you know, we've had sulfuric acid and aluminum solution in the game for a while. Let's take a look at the I'm inventory. trying to look at the Packet things. Packet sulfuric acid. It has a little, little, little apostrophe thing. I'm trying to look in all the corners to see if there's anything that we might have missed. Because I feel that coffee stains are just every, every now and then going to pop in something. A little teaser, a little leak for us. And then pretend that it's not there. Thingy in there, that needs to go away. That may be, that may have actually just been me typing that in. I, that was, I think that's actually my fault. Anyway, whatever. So, sulfuric acid packaged for alternative transports. Okay, so here we have something new. Aluminum casing. Let's check out the concept art. All right, so this is the... Al I said aluminum casing. Aluminium casing, by the way. The eye is there, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so it's just... Uh so, it looks like... I know that Jace goes on to mention that it's made out of aluminium ingots. Um, but I don't know if that's combined with something, and if it is, I guess we will have it combined with rubber in the assembler. But who knows? Um, plain aluminium, you can see some rubber padding there. You know, this is this is them in motion. Look at these bad boys in motion. Very nice. Aluminium casing. I also have a note here that these casings will be made from aluminium ingots, right? Now, I know I said I'm not going to give you any recipes or anything like that, but this is just a fucking aluminium case. Is it? Is it? Just aluminium? Just an aluminium ingot? I don't know. We'll see. It says aluminium casing! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> the next one is plutonium waste. You got Now this one I find really interesting. And the reason is how we get plutonium is by... I've done a bit of... I've done a bit of research here. Um, so, if I pull this up, this can explain it much better than I can. 
Um, so for nuclear fuel, nuclear reactors, nuclear fuel rods, you use uranium. You enrich it and then you use it in a reactor. And from that we get nuclear waste, which is uranium, uh, plutonium and something else. Anyway, what you have to do with the nuclear um, waste is to actually recycle it. You have to recycle uranium nuclear waste to create plutonium which can then be used as a more a stronger more intense fuel a better fuel for nuclear reactors now this kind of throws out my whole concept of pot well doesn't necessarily so i'll put a picture of the building the mystery building over there i thought that was a centrifuge and it could still be a centrifuge because it is used. You use a gas centrifuge in order to, I don't know, uh, help within the enrichment process in order to, to make plutonium. However, you also need to use a reactor um, to bombard it with more atoms, I think, in order to make it fizzier. Uh, so it could be that the building is actually a reactor. But I'd like to think it's still a centrifuge so we are going to continue on also i love the new color <laughs> and uh, we can see that these are actually smaller than the nuclear waste as well which is nice i like having the difference the variations nuclear stuff plutonium waste <gasps> what? so yeah just to confirm it looks like we will have the normal nuclear process followed by waste recycling in some form or fashion. But it won't be all of it. Once once you've used up the nuclear waste, I presume what's going to happen is you'll have the plutonium waste, which you will not be able to recycle. At the same time, it's going to be more radiated. So, I mean, it's giving us more of a balance issue, but it's a possibility for us. What does it mean? What could it mean? Here's a little reference image here. Uh, still not sturdy enough, apparently. Lol. And apparently there's more compact than the regular nuclear waste. Interesting. So uh, here you are. This is a new part related to that. I'm not going to say too much more about the plutonium waste because a lot of people already have some of their own um, like conspiracy theories as to what's mm. going to happen with nuclear. And then by <laughs> showing this, you're going to have even more theories. Add some to the conspiracies. Correct. Some are very wrong. So uh, they're always fun to see. And, and uh, I kind of like, not just me, but we all like watching people get really passionate about what they think is coming. So um, <laughs> I'm going to say nothing more about this. Uh, let's, say, let's pick it up, though. Let's pick it up and take a look at the description. Plutonium waste is the byproducts of consuming plutonium fuel. And that also suggests plutonium fuel rods that we're going to have. Well, we know it's going to be a whole new production line by the looks of it. So I presume we'll have nuclear fuel rods and then once you've recycled the waste of nuclear fuel, you'll have the plutonium fuel rod um, process. Uh, handle a caution. Fun fact, you can actually hold plutonium in its solid state as well as uranium in your hands without dying. Coffee stain if you're watching this. Without dying, providing you haven't got any cuts, you should be fine. Just wash your hands after. Lots of studying been going on for this. Fuel rods. Handle with caution. Extremely radioactive. And this extremely radioactive is true. I've turned the radiation off right now. Uh, and it was very strong and you die very quickly. Uh, it's <laughs> around you. So, uh, yeah, you want to be careful with the uh, plutonium. So this is what it looks like. First little blue crap just coming out there. Very cool. All right. Oh, and here for the AFK, well, I say AFK, when you have a player who comes into your game and then leaves, they're now going to be sitting. Um, this is going to be something that I'd like to see how they balance it. Like on, if you have a dedicated server where anyone can join in, are you going to have hundreds of people just sat around randomly who came in for like half an hour? Um, but it's nice that they've added this little uh, sipping kind of animation. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the the concept art. So the next one is magnetic field generator, <gasps> and this is as you can see here, it is a project assembly part. So this is project uh, part number six, magnetic field generator. We'll read. 
I will say that the project assembly, I think these are for not seven and eight. These are going to be for nine and ten, which kind of has been um, already leaked before. So this is, this is on the wiki, the satisfactory wiki page, but they do have the project assembly propulsion, which is tier nine and ten. So I presume they, this is all subject to change and it may not be true, but it looks like these are going to be for that the description about it a little bit later, but it looks very cool. Looks like it connects. So you make multiple of them and they connect together. Interesting, interesting. Generates a magnetic field, I assume. So let's take a look at it in game. Nice. I mean, it just looks great. I like I love this it. one. This one looks cool. I just wanna, I just wanna plug them end on end. Kind of some human centipede shit, except <laughs> the magnetic field generators instead. Project part number six, send up to the space elevator, I assume, to complete phases of project assembly. That's what the project parts do. These modular generators use superconducting magnets and vast amounts of electricity to produce an easily expandable and powerful magnetic fields. So does that mean we're going to be needing to use the batteries that they mentioned they're going to be more prominent in the update in order to create these? Possibly, or maybe we need something else. Maybe, maybe with the whole redoing or changing of energy, we actually have to generate a certain amount of power for project assembly to run. I don't know, I'm shooting in the dark here, but that would give people more of a reason to play around with the late tier electric, um, like generators, because at the moment I've never had to use a nuclear power plant. Why would I need to do the plutonium? Why? Well, other than when I build a massive mega factory next year. Hmm, can't wait. So expandable and powerful ma magnetic field. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, the, these bits, this is where he trolls us the most, where he's like, interesting, very interesting. Like he's hinting at something. Expandable? Hmm? Also, we can see here, I don't think they he does this for any of the other recipes, but we can see that it requires three ingredients making hazarding a guess oh wait is it two ingredients to create one or is that three if it's two i presume aluminium casing and batteries i don't know fuel rods <laughs> maybe and then something else who knows yo the recipe is right there by the way i don't know if we're showing the recipe but it's right there Drones confirmed, guys. Flying drones confirmed. Okay, I'm kind of having you on. But still, I think these are drones. Just for the space okay, elevator. Part number seven. We're just going to give you all the project parts, it would seem. So this is the uh, assembly director system, as you can see. So it's also another project assembly part. Very cool. Kind of looks like GLaDOS, not going to lie. A uh, little bit like GLaDOS. So, just uh, replace the that's head. That's a fun fact. So let's go take a look at it in-game. We're here, we're here. Obviously, this hasn't got the texture skin for it. Model, that's the word skin. I was looking for. This is Walmart assembly director <laughs> system over here. <laughs> but sometimes, just knowing about the part's existence is cool too, even if you don't have the final model. Right, guys? Right. Cool. So let's talk about it. Yeah, so let's pick it up, see what the description says. Project part number seven, sent up to the space elevator to complete the phases of project assembly. This extremely fast and precise computing system is specifically- I mean, fast computing systems suggest that we're going to be using quantum computers to build these. I don't know what else though, because he doesn't show what other I, like parts are needed for it. It's designed to direct the project, project assembly assembly phase. Very nice name. So extremely fast and precise computing system is specifically designed to direct the project assembly assembly phase. Thermal propulsion rocket. This project is cool. Assembly part number eight. These this look is our last cool part as well. For the day. And uh, it's a big old rocket. This is the butthole of it. This is the butthole. This is the front. And that's the butt. As you can see, it says butt here. It says butthole. Okay, so thermal propulsion rocket project part number eight. Send up to the space ele elevator to complete phases of the project assembly. Uses extreme heat to produce the high pressure plasma required to get project assembly into motion. So we've been talking in the live streams all along about how I think that this is potentially a, a spaceship. I think everyone's assumed this. 
and that we're going to be able to fly. Well, we're not going to be able to fly, but the idea is to build a spaceship to transport things back to, to Earth. Uh, what I do want to bring up is that this is thermal proportion. This was brought up in the live stream today when we were talking about this, that it uses extreme heat to produce the high pressure plasma. What we might be seeing uh, is the need for producing a type of heat shielding, heat plating, like uh, ceramic heat, heat ceramic, ceramic, thermal ceramic heat plating protection thing, uh, which is actually very much doable um, in the game currently because we do have quartz and from quartz we have silicon or silica and from that you can actually create ceramic plating for heat protection. So it maybe is suggesting that we might have that as a new item in game, like a new resource for us to pr produce, not resource, but a new item to produce in game, which would be really cool. I'd like that. Um, and obviously we, we have no idea as to what ingredients this uses. The project assembly motions. Oh, who would have thunk it? Not me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so they're all the parts that I'm going to show off for you today. It's not. So there you are, guys. Um, that was pretty much everything they showed off in this video. So let's get back to the other cam. So there you are, guys. That's everything that I could possibly think of or spot in that video. So do let me know what you think, whether you agreed with my idea on the nuclear waste recycling whether that is that mystery building is a centrifuge or whether it's actually something like a reactor. Um, let me know your thoughts. I'm very interested. But that is all we have time for, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a thumbs up. Obviously, if you want to be part of our live streams, do remember you can check me out on Twitch or you can follow me, subscribe to me on here. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Until next time, I have to say thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse Patreons, The Calamity and Bo Papa, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patreon, Matt Lippard, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which is Papa Snoozy. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.